It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We're in a place they call the American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami, Florida. Right on the water, the home of the heat, where we're broadcasting live today. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. And for the Heat, we've got another hometown game here in Miami. This has been a tough stretch of games for them, fellas, losing their last four. You know, sometimes during the season, Kevin, uh, as long as it is, teams just go through that, that blasé period. And that's basically what I sense is going on here. Uh, you, you can't put a finger on any one or two things. It's just a matter of it not clicking and trying to figure it out. Very little locked in at this point, Brent, but sometimes it feels like the best teams are just waiting for the playoffs to begin. Well, there's always this idea about building up for the playoffs, mm -hmm. and I think over the past five or six seasons, most of the talk that we have is about those teams being as healthy as they possibly can be, and I think that's the time in the season we're at now, Kevin. Make sure that everybody is 100% ready to go, not just mentally, but physically. And the coaches got to keep their focus. Right? I mean, that, that, that's tough to do. The coaches do, but they, the good ones start that process maybe in the last 15 games of the season to try to ramp things up so that guys feel ready to go once the end of the regular season comes. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Nance and Thompson are up front. Then there's Sexton. Then there's J.R. Smith, and it's also been in at the two spot. Now here's Richardson after Colin Sexton's miss. Here's Osman. Wade is covering. Sexton the pass to Thompson. It's stolen by Dragic. And it's Dragic with the foul. That's his first foul. Kicks to Sexton. Pass to Thompson. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Wade. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. And the basket by Wade. And while Wade doesn't pull the floater out all that often, when he does, it's usually pretty silky smooth. Osman, the pass to Thompson. Knocked away. For Miami, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Wait, the shot's good on the assist by Johnson. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Sexton kicks to Nance. Smith on the wing. Thompson outside. Passes it to Osman. Just five on the clock. Launches it, and that's good. J.R. Smith for three. Smith's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. For Miami, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Wade finds Whiteside. Now here's Dragic. Whiteside tried to break three. No good from Dragic. The Cavaliers trail by three. The open look here for Sexton. Goes back up. Thompson uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, that's what Tristan Thompson does best, just working the glass and working the D over. With the teardrop, no good from Trogic. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Sexton's shot is good. Sexton's got his first bucket in this one. And the muscle of Sexton outstanding at just working through the contact and finding a way to finish. And the pass to Wade. Shoots from the baseline. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Wade's got six. 
Cleveland's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Osman the pass to Thompson. Osman kicks to Sexton. Back to Osman. Pass to Sexton. The three. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Good to see Sexton knock it down from deep. A shot he needs to add to his arsenal. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrich. Well, I was able to catch up with Eric Spolster a few minutes ago. This is the first meeting of the year between these two teams, but he said those guys are tough to deal with when you let them get to the rim. We've got to move our feet on defense and do our best to deny penetration. We'll see who comes out on top, Kevin. Thank you, David. So it's the Cavaliers now after the Heat pick up two. Thompson finds Smith. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Six points for J.R. Smith. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Bounce pass, Dragic. Inside. Here's Whiteside. His second shot goes in, off to a good start, two for two. Quick elevation for a five. Makes him deadly on the interior, was Whiteside. Hassan Whiteside, a max player for the Miami Heat, but I've heard some analysts say, Brent, that uh, they question whether he's a Miami Heat type of player. Why is that? Well, the, the Heat are built around a pretty much maniacal work ethic. There's a lot of grinders, and you look at Whiteside as a draft prospect. He worked out for the Heat and actually walked out midway through a workout, yet they stuck with him. They kept tabs on him, and they brought him in, and they've They've paid him handsomely to be out there and be impactful. That's got to be on a nightly basis. How about the Cavs last year making it back to their fourth straight finals appearance alongside the Golden State Warriors and for a team in a city that's just had so little to cheer and celebrate about. Obviously LeBron James bringing their championship to them a couple years ago. Uh, ultimately the golden era of Cleveland Cavalier basketball. He throw good, Dragic. And the Cavs and Warriors last year in the finals, Brent, the Cavs had a chance to even the rivalry at two wins apiece. Well, they did, Kevin, but pretty much outmatched last year in the finals. Just too much roster change and not enough firepower to overtake the, the Golden State Warriors. The depth just wasn't there. It was a great ride last year with LeBron getting back to his eighth finals, but they came up short. Now, here's Sexton. He had 15 points last out. Smith outside. In the corner, it's Clarkson. Goes up on the wing. A second chance effort, and it's laid up and in by Thompson. And another momentum shift. These teams going back and forth all night. Yeah, which team's going to find some consistency first? Neither one can pull away. Dragic with it. Hunted now by Sexton. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. And right now, I, I think just his demeanor is hurting the team. His shooting's been off, and he knows it. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. And some changes here for the Heat. Autobio is checked in for Johnson. Winslow comes in for Josh Richardson. And it's Waiters in for Dwayne Wade. Then for the Cavaliers, Channing Fries checked in for Nance. Corver comes in for J.R. Smith. And it's Hill in for Sexton. Fry, good. Fry has got his first basket of the night. George Hill recognizing when his man was open, an effective pass that time. Winslow kicks to Dragic. Over Hill, and that one off the back of the rim and in. Well, when you have an outstanding point guard that's making outstanding decisions like Dragic does, it can be lethal. Thompson dishes to Hill. Pass to Corp. Now, here's Fry. Covered by Winslow. Baseline try. It's Autobio with the rebound. 
And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for Miami. They trail by one. This their first chance this season playing the Cavaliers. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. And guys, this first meeting always sort of sets the tone for how the rest of the season series will play out. For teams that know each other this well, this initial game is a big one. And Miami making a change here. Ellington's checked in. Here's Clarkson, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Jordan Clarkson is a player who is looking for his shot whenever he gets the ball. Can distribute enough, but it isn't his top priority. Very dangerous when left alone outside. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And with Clarkson as good as he is outside, Greg, he prefers to shoot off the dribble than on the catch. Yeah, and it's why Clarkson gets labeled a, a high volume, low efficiency guy. Terrific on catch and shoot chances. I think if he played more towards his strengths, he could put together a career year. Second free throw, no good. Clarkson, is, it's interesting for him. He's not really a point guard and not really a shooting guard, so trying to find ways to stay in the game and stay aggressive and do whatever is asked of him to earn minutes. Now here's Waiters. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. That evens the score. Where was the D on that one? Just too easy. Cleveland's gone 3 of 5 from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Winslow against Corver. He kicks to Clarkson. Shot clock at six. Over Waiters. A shot by Clarkson. No good. And he rushed that one. No doubt about it. The D. Allen's position. You could see the frustration on his face. Bounce pass from Ellington. Winslow against Corver. Off the left rim and out. For Cleveland, they've gone 7 of 15 from the field at this point. Clarkson surveying the floor. Rebound by the Heat. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. And really, you'd like to just see more from that inside game offensively. In that one, it didn't happen. And sometimes your poor shooting from the perimeter can dictate, it should dictate, that you go to the inside. Tonight, they didn't do it. Now here's Corver, just as Winslow missing his last shot. Ellington with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Kicks it to Whiteside. And it's Waiters atop the key. And Waiters with the stuff. And I think that's the preference from Waiters. He should attack the rim more often. Last game for the Cavaliers, it was a loss to the Grizzlies. You know, I don't like to use the word shock, but that was a shocking result for me. Nobody saw that one coming. To lose to that team was surprising enough, but to get blown out like that? Yeah, that's a bit of a head-scratcher there. That was a case where every single thing that could have gone wrong for them, oh, it showed up. To the inside, it's deflected. Fires from the wing. The shot, no good. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Raiders against Clarkson. They could use a bucket. It's hauled in by the Heat. Whiteside's got six rebounds now in the game. Yeah, his shot just doesn't seem to be synced up right now. Here's hoping he finds it soon because his team is really going to need that production tonight. Now Hill, after Deion Waiters, three-pointer that didn't go. Hill passes to front. In the corner, it's Clarkson. For the three again and Channing Fry gets the whistle that time that is his first foul of the game the heat with the lead passes it to waiters 
and Waiters with the stop. And that's such solid fundamental basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up a dunk. Well, that's a play that only works by practicing over and over and having a great rhythm with your teammate. You could see the timing there. Here's Fry after the Heat pickup, too. Here's Waiters. Two on the clock. That is Winslow. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Heat lead by four. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. just joining us we've played through one quarter in this one and let's quickly break down the game we've been seeing from the heat guys I mean through that first quarter to me it's all about their deep well, there's a lot of ways to build a lead this one's built on stops the Cavaliers trail by four on the court for Cleveland they've got Clarkson Tristan Thompson is out there with Channing Fry. Then it's George Hill, and it's Corver in at the small forward position. Thompson finds Corver. Just time on the clock. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Justice Winslow. How about Kyle Corver there, the veteran presence to draw the foul, wait for the contact while shooting. Well, the ageless wonder, Kyle Corver is still such a vital part of the offense. A blur on offense constantly moving around to try to find an opening at the three point line and sometimes that pulls oh, defenders Good away shot. and opens up some Good more shot. opportunity. That free throw missing for Corver. He continues to climb the ranks of all time three pointers made. Well, Kyle last year passed the great Paul Pierce of the Boston Celtics, and Corver is not close to being done. In the all-time rankings, Kevin, interestingly enough, he has the least amount of games and total attempts of everyone in the top five. That's some rarefied air. Let's talk about team defense, Brent, to develop trust. It seems like guys have got to communicate on the floor. I talk to my friends often who ask me about playing an NBA game and playing defense. They first start with saying that I didn't play any, but the second They're thing, wrong. The second they thing that we wrong. get but the second thing we get to, <laughs> Kevin, is talking about really how intricate good defenses can be. You talk about communication, that's one thing, but throughout the course of the season, you build so much sweat equity on defense and trust by knowing that somebody's gonna be behind you, hearing that voice consistently, but positions on the floor where you almost develop play sets as a defensive team. Now, when you reach that level, that's the upper echelon, but that's when it really gets fun to be down on that end, to shut a team down, to keep a crowd quiet. Defense always begins with great communication. So many things, rotations and playing angles and, and having the guy in back, you know what you can do well, what you can't do well if you're ahead of him. Well, that, Kevin, and also great teams who are adaptable to make changes on the fly all of a sudden the dead ball coach calls out a different coverage you want to mess up the team's rhythm on the other end and five guys they snap to it and can carry out that defensive assignment in one play call that's great defense here's Clarkson it's Autobio with the rebound Autobio's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight and Waiters kicks to Ellington Winslow against Corver. Winslow, the pass to Waiters. Hands it from downtown. Waiters got 11. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Poke loose and stolen by Ellington. And stolen by Fry. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And we've got a moment now to check out the Eastern Conference standings and see where everyone is sitting as things begin to settle down just a bit through the midway point of the season. We take a look at the Cavaliers. They're in the middle at fifth in the conference, looking to build in the wins as the season goes on. And of course,
course, the Miami Heat, they're down there in the 10th spot. And when you look at Miami, they've had their chances to kind of separate themselves from the pack this season, but so far, they haven't been able to capitalize on those opportunities. It's got to be frustrating for them so far this year. Anytime it's appeared that they're ready to break out, they've suffered some sort of regression, and it has them stuck right there in the middle of the standings. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, with all the turmoil in the Cavs locker room last season, some wondered if head coach Duran Lue's job could be in jeopardy. Despite leading the team to its first championship in 2016, Lou, like a lot of coaches, finds that his future in the NBA is always subject to speculation. Kevin? All right, DA, thank you. And a new group getting ready for Miami. James Johnson checked in for Whiteside. Richardson comes in for Justice Winslow. Wade, he's checked in for Waiters. And it's Drogic in for Wayne Ellington. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Harry Nance is checked in for Thompson. Smith comes in for Kyle Corfin. Teddy Osman, he's checked in for Clarkson. And it's Sexton in for George Hill. Miami no good on that time either. And getting a hand in the shooter's face, locking down that in-between area. Just taking on the challenge on every possession. I love defenders who give nothing away. Now here is Smith. Six points for him. Clock at four. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And it's Osman missing. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. And what I like best is that he does it completely under control. Really gives the shooter nowhere to turn to. The Heat have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Wade is a very consistent performer from the foul line. This is why you always avoid fouling him if you can. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Well, coming out of the timeout, let's see if they go for the outside shot or if they look to go inside, try to build some confidence by seeing that ball go in. a chance now to look at the teams that have created the most points off turnovers this season. Number one, the Heat. You know, it's not just the turnovers they're forcing. I mean, they're converting at the other end, and you know what? It puts a lot of pressure on you to play perfect. Osman kicks to Sexton. Now the pass to Fry. He dishes it to Smith. Offensive struggles continue missing again. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Brent, the league is shaking things up as far as training and evaluation of referees. Do you think it'll result in getting a higher percentage of calls correct? They're pretty good as it is now. The referees are fantastic. They are. And the fact that we're even having a discussion about a higher percentage of correct calls, Thank Kevin. You. I would just like to have a higher percentage of correct calls for the rest of this game with you. Well, good. This guy next to me handed me this card. It wasn't my idea. It was this guy over here. Yeah, well, he we, said, ask Brent we, about we, the referee. We, we need the stats, guys. Yeah. Oh, though we do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Both free throws good from Dragic. 
Well, when it comes to free throws, Dragic is just money from the line. Pass to Osman. And Nance kicks to Osman. Pass to Sexton. Clock at six. Over Johnson. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Yeah, it just seems whatever they do, nothing's working right now to stop the bleeding. I still think there's a chance you string a couple of big plays together and the tide can turn very quickly. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Sexton kicks the fry. Now Sexton. He has five. Shoots over Trogic. And another miss by Cleveland. That's just poor shooting right now from him, and I'm, I'm not sure why he's even attempting those kind of shots. He gets that one. And the Heat lead by 17. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Timeout called Cleveland. And I like this timeout. You're getting terrible rim protection right now. Well, you got to ask your team to give you a little bit more effort because there's just not a lot of fire on the defensive end. some numbers for Richardson. He's around 10 points per game, two assists, and two rebounds. And guys, no question, he's a guy with some talent, but, but honestly, even he'd like to see those numbers improve. From all the whispers that we've heard, he's been working hard on his game. It just has not showed up yet in the box score. Now, here's Wade. 17-point lead, their biggest. Rogic kicks to Johnson. Over Nance, and there's Johnson. That's good on the assist by Trogic. Trogic has got four assists in the game. Cleveland's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. To the paint to stop the run, and the jam by Larry Nance. And there's the patience you want to see from Sexton. Eyes up and finds the open man. Trogic finds Wade. Not loose. Now, here's Sexton. He has five. And Cleveland turns it over again. And here's what Cleveland's schedule is looking like on Saturday. They'll continue the road trip heading out to Atlanta to take on the Hawks. Then on Wednesday, they'll be facing Hassan Whiteside and the Miami Heat. And for that game against the Jazz, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. Now here's Johnson. Out to Wade. Pass to Richardson. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Wade. He's guarded close. That one will not drop. It's his first miss. He's four for five. Here's Osman. It's Autobio with the rebound. Wonderful defense. Staying active around the rim and then really putting the shooter in a tough spot. And, and I know we want to assume these shots are going in. The defense definitely blew an assignment there, but still got lucky. Sexton's shot is good. You know, you got to respect Sexton's scoring ability. The closer he gets inside, the more effective he is. And, of course, Colin Sexton. His college team once had to finish a game with only three players. Yeah, he scored 40 that night. He's got me almost led him to a victory. He loves to play under the bright lights, brings great energy and enthusiasm every night. And the Cavaliers with possession here. The Heat getting the bucket. 
Smith in the post. Richardson cover. And the foul on Larry Nance Jr. That is his first foul of the game. You know, the timing, the rhythm. I'm a big fan of when Sexton can just catch and shoot. And it's Miami's ball. They're on an 18-7 run. And Channing Fry gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And they can't afford to be that careless. They need him out there on the floor. So he has to avoid fouling again in this period. Johnson kicks to Wade. From eight. Goes back up. He lays it in. Wade's got 11. And even though the defense is there, it does not bother Dwayne Wade. He's seen it all. Osman, the pass to Fry. Sexton with it. Here's Osman. The three-pointer, no good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Dragic finds Wade. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got assist number five here tonight. And this quarter has been all about him. You feel every shot he's going to take is going in. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. You know, coming out of the timeout, let's see if they go for the outside shot or if they look to go inside, try to build some confidence by seeing that ball go in. here how the distribution has been between three-pointers and two-pointers tonight for the Cavaliers. Osman kicks to Sexton. The dish to Smith. The pass to Sexton. Six to shoot. Back to Smith. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That is his first foul of the game. And the Heat with some changes. Whiteside's checked in for Otto Bio. Justice Winslow comes in for Johnson. And Dion Waiters subbed in for Dwayne Wade. George Hills checked in for the Cavaliers. Sexton the pass to Hill. He kicks it to Nance. Lock at six. Smith for three, and it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got eight rebounds in this game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And yeah, defense timed that out perfectly. Love the aggressiveness, and then they changed the shot's direction. Now, here's Sexton. He's guarded by Drogic. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Feeds to Richardson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Richardson playing with boundless energy, great at going into the physical defense and drawing the foul. The Heat have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. That's good from Richardson. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. And the Heat making a change here. Ellington's checked in. Then for the Cavaliers, Thompson, he's checked in for Fry. Corver comes in for J.R. Smith. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Sexton. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And Josh Richardson continuing to develop his overall game has such good height at the two-guard spot. 
some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Thompson dishes to Corver, kicks it to Clarkson. Sinks the three-pointer. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Pass to Waiters. The rebound by Nance. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. Why don't we go to the 2K leaderboard over the past month? These teams have been playing a very entertaining brand of basketball. Number one, the Heat. I mean, it's about the pace they played with here offensively. They don't look like they're showing any signs of slowing down. They throw good. Clarkson. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here is Hill. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive, and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free throw line. Here's Clarkson. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Just a little lackluster so far with his effort. He's been very limited due to his poor shooting. Here's Waiters. Second chance effort. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. For Miami, they have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. And that one misses. Whiteside's experimented a bit with his free throw shooting throughout his career, even trying jump shots from the free throw line. So still trying to find the magic recipe to be more consistent. And here is Waiters. 11 points in the game. Pass to Richardson. There's the three. And again, Miami with the triple. Richardson shooting it now from deep. Good touch on the long ranger. And so it's the Miami Heat with a 19-point advantage heading into the next quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Dwayne, how'd you get on top of these guys in the first half? Well, one way is get out in transition. Um, besides that, you know, we run in our offense and make sure we get paint touches. Uh, we play inside out. You know, we got guys that's been very aggressive, so it's been working for us again. Yeah, that flow is the key to your success. Thanks, Dwayne. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, friends and neighbors. One half down, another half to go. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Dwayne Wade has been all over the floor tonight. He had 13 points, two steals, and two rebounds. Kenny, let's start with you. What'd you think about the heat? Dwayne Wade flexing his muscle in the first half. He no longer has the elite quickness to create separation but he does have the power to bull his way around the court and get decent looks. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, their sloppy play really surprised me, especially the turnovers. No matter who they had out there, they never seemed to be on the same page. Their only hope is to make every possession count, and that means taking care of the ball. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up?
And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Dwayne Wade really has his fingerprints all over this one. And how disruptive was he in that first half? I mean, creating havoc, causing turnovers, and really energizing his team. So many times we talk about offensive players being in a great rhythm. Well, right now, defensively, he's in one. Great anticipation and reading those passing lanes. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Down low, it's Johnson and Whiteside. Wade and Richardson, the two wings. And it's Dragic in at the point guard position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Thompson, it's hauled in by the Heat. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Wade feeling it out a bit. Fades and shoots, and no good. The Cavaliers trail by 19. Passes it to Smith over Richardson. Nance, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Nance has got the first bucket of the third here for Cleveland. Hard for opposing teams to box out Nance because of all the activity that Larry Nance Jr. has. Plays alive on every possession. Yeah, starting the second half nicely there. Love those easy lay-ins to get things going. Exactly. That's the kind of possession ending with an easy one right at the bucket that you love to get early on. Builds confidence for the entire team. Richardson against Smith. And there's the feed to Thompson. Greg, what are some of the positives that Tristan Thompson's play brings to the team? Still a very efficient scorer on the shots that he does take. And he lives mostly inside the paint. And still a strong offensive rebounder. But, but his days of being a threat on the offensive end as the game has evolved seems to have kind of gone away. He misses the free throw. Kind of an interesting year for Tristan Thompson, who saw playing time decrease, and some felt that his focus and his drive just wasn't quite the same. There was a lot of moving parts last year for Cleveland and around Tristan. Eventually, he found his game late in the year, though, and was impactful in the playoffs. So he comes up empty, missing both. Tristan Thompson is one of the best offensive rebounders in the NBA. So to do that, you can't be afraid to throw your weight around. Yeah, that's pretty much a perfect pass, and that's also alliteration. Osman kicks to Thompson. Launches it. The shot by Sexton, no good. Well, for Thompson, he certainly has seemed to take a step back, Brent. His contract is not helping the matter either. Well, there were some distractions, I think we could say, legitimately last year with the things going on off the court. The fact is, Tristan Thompson was once viewed as a really good quality big man at the starting position of center or power forward and has a lot of work to do in order to get himself back on some solid ground. Here's Smith after the made shot from Dwayne Wade and Thompson kicks to Eisman. The 17 footer goes down. Thompson doing a good job looking for his teammates using his size to see over the defense. Wade finds Richardson right side with it. Covered by Smith. And it's Whiteside off the drive. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Blue shot. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. 
timeout called the Cavaliers. Yeah, his shot is just not there tonight, guys. And instead of trying to shoot himself out of the slump, maybe he needs to start moving the ball around and creating for his teammates. Here's a look now at the shot chart showing the field goals attempted locations for Wade. Right now, after looking at that chart, you, you pretty much can just jog down the court. <laughs> he gets it in the paint. That just time and time again, he's worked his way in close and made a shot over a defender or found another way to convert. Just great stuff coming from him thus far. On the wing, Nance. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Back to Smith, fires the three, drains it from beyond the arc. Smith's got nine. I don't know what it is about J.R. Smith, but it seems like the percentages go up the closer the defense gets. Rogic kicks to Johnson. It's stolen by Nance. Offensive rebound. Not a lot of defense there. You can't afford to let guys shoot freely from the mid-range. You're not going to miss those all that often. Miami leading by 19 points to the inside. The kick out to Dragic. Good ball movement here by Miami. It's stolen by Nance. Smith drives in and taken away by Johnson. Fires from 14, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. They are just killing him on the interior. Sexton with it. He's got 10. Smith inside, got a piece of it. Hard-nosed defender and Josh Richardson using a little bit of that length from the wing position to deny that one. For Miami, they have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group, only around 75%. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. And he makes the first. Around the world, Brent, we've seen the NBA take a role in helping youngsters learn to play the game of basketball the right way. So incredible what Basketball Without Borders has done with uh, the NBA junior program expanding itself last year in Treviso for the first time. The NBA doing a, a combine for EuroLeague players so they can start a database of, of the older professional, younger professional players playing overseas. It's a global game. Adam Silver is doing a remarkable job of promoting the game, and we're in a great place, Kevin. Now, here's Sexton. Ten points for him. It's tipped, and he gets it back. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Johnson against Nance. Here's Johnson. Ten points for him. Here's Osman. Wade is covering. Tipped away. It's stolen by Wade. Here's Johnson, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Well, Johnson's tenacity meter right now redlining. He loves taking the punishment and finishing through it. Josh Richardson, the 40th overall pick, Brent, back in 2015, a hardworking young player who's had a lot of good veteran mentors in this Miami Heat locker room. 
Yeah, and he took advantage not only of what Dwayne Wade said to him, but the time that Dwayne Wade wasn't playing, he lane. stepped in and seized an opportunity One to shot. get those minutes. He's had some scorching hot shooting numbers, too. His rookie year was phenomenal, and it came in and drew attention from guys from the three-point line, so looking to be consistent on that end. And Johnson, no good on that one. Yeah, like a five-tool baseball player, James Johnson's one of those guys who does a little bit of everything for his team. Now Drogic, eight points for him. And the pass to Johnson. He kicks to Whiteside. It's stolen by Smith. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. Shot from 12. The shot by Sexton, no good. Oh, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. Johnson, good. Johnson's got eight points in the quarter. He's reliable, capitalizing on the inside. You have to keep Johnson from getting in that close. Smith feeling it out a bit. Shot clock at six. Out to the wing. The shot by Sexton, no good. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for Miami. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Cleveland's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Sexton with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Over to the left wing. Fades. No good from Fry. He'd have gone seven of ten on their field goal attempts here in the third. To the paint. And there's Dwayne Wade on the assist from Dragic. Wade's got 19 points. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on body. Now, here is Smith. Nine points in the game so far. Now, here's Sexton. Pulls it up. And he overshot that one, missing. And the defense is just not very aggressive. Definitely fortunate that the mid-range jumper did not find the bottom of the net that time. Wait. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Osmond's got four rebounds now tonight. Smith outside. Back to Osmond. The three ball. Good on the three-point shot. Osmond's got five points in the quarter. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Changes. Winslow's checked in for Johnson. Dion Waiters comes in for Dwayne Wade. And Ellington is subbed in for Goran Dragic. Then for the Cavaliers, Kyle Korver. He's checked in for Smith. Jordan Clarkson comes in for Jetty Austin. And it's Hill in for Sexton. Waiters for three. It's good from long range. Waiters got 14 points. Well, he is an offensive weapon, especially when Waiters gets locked in in the catch and shoot game. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Now here's Winslow. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. It's holding by Fry. Fry has got his fourth rebound in this one. Corver passes to Hill. 
And here's Clarkson. Seven points in the game. And while we've got a moment, let's check out the best defenses in the NBA. Number one, the Heat. And this D has been completely dominant. Fewest points per game allowed in the league. These guys are talented. They trust each other. They work together. And you just won't find better coaching on the defensive end of the floor. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Clarkson. Miami's gone three or four from long range in the game. Pass to Whiteside. Got a piece of it. Get to to go. That one good from Autobio. Autobio's got four points now in the quarter. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. A three-pointer is right on target. Clarkson draining one from deep, something he has to continue to work on. Stretch out the floor. Ellington kicks to Adebayo. Raiders against Clarkson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's called on Channing Fry. For Miami, they have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Two shots. And he makes the first. Still struggling to find some consistency as an offensive player, but Waiters does get to the free throw line a fair amount for a guy who shoots so many threes. And both free throws good for Waiters. Now Cleveland shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. On the wing, Corver, covered by Winslow. Fry dishes to Corver. Back to Fry. Four on the clock. And it's Corver in the corner. Another three for Cleveland. And you can see the play calling this half. Another one from distance. No question. It looks like they've rented out room along the perimeter in this ball game, And they're likely to keep doing this until the defense makes an adjustment. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result. Yeah, when you fail to get over the top, more than likely that jumper is going to go down. Here's Hill. Sweet little floater. Hill's got his first points of the game. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. 112 left in the third. And Hill over to help. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Cleveland's gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. 52 seconds left to play in the third. To the middle and stolen by Whiteside. And it's Thompson with the jam. Tristan not worrying in the least about the defense that time, just powering through. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Richardson, he's checked in for the Heat. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Nance, he's checked in for Channing Fry. Shooting one. Ah! 
That free throw good from Thompson. 46 seconds left in the third quarter. Waiters finds Ellington. Back to Waiters. Ellington the pass to Whiteside. Five to shoot. Richardson. And no good. Corver with the defensive effort. The Cavaliers shooting a meager 37% for the game. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. Nance against Winslow. Kicks it to Waiters. Shoots over Clarkson. And the foul called on Hassan Whiteside. And that'll be his third foul so far. That's his third personal foul. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. It's the Heat just dominating this one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, Greg, is peripheral vision. One quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So on the floor for Cleveland. Nance and Thompson are up front. Clarkson is out there with Hill. And it's Corver in at the small forward. Uh, the defense, not, not so good. And when you're deep inside like that, you, you got to come through. Hill with it. Thompson outside. Kicks it to Corver. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Now here's Winslow. He feeds it to Whiteside. Good D by Thompson. The Cavaliers trail by 19. Here's Clarkson. And trying to break loose. A shot by Clarkson, no good. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Winslow's running, and Waiters has it in the corner. Those three pointers off the mark. And so he'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Now here is Hill. In the corner, it's Clarkson. Shot clock at six. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. And sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. Outside Hill. Clarkson against Waiters. Here's Clarkson. It's back to Hill. This one for three. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Tearaway warm-ups have long been a feature of the NBA. But last season, the new tearaway jerseys, they just kept ripping apart. Ah, the old uniform malfunction, Kevin, last year. Yeah, maybe you even had a couple malfunctions, and that was odd. Well, the, the, the tie? Bad yeah, tie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. always have bad ties. Uh, I, think they'll, oh, I think they're looking back at the material choices for, for what they're doing, so maybe there'll be some subtle changes into this year. But it was interesting. In the early part of last year, a, a lot of guys, with a, a finger underneath the arm and pulling away a jersey and, and ripped away. So maybe the supplier will, will do something about the fabric this year. James Johnson's checked in for Winslow. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Shot, Smith gentlemen. has checked in.
Cleveland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Hill. And an air ball on that one. Way off. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. To the inside. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Well, he weasels his way to the inside there. And that little breathing room that helped George Hill to score. Pass to Richardson. He kicks to Whiteside. Outside Dragic. Stolen by Clarkson. And oh, here we go with Hill. Nobody back. And that one is good. Hill's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, Clarkson with a really good job moving the puppies, getting the feet in the right position, and then clawing that ball away. Here's Johnson. Rebound collected by Clarkson. The Cavaliers trail by 20. To the paint, here's Nance. Johnson with the defensive effort. The Heat have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Shots good by Waiters. Well, he's a bit of a hulky guard, so he attracts that contact there and then keeps his eyes on the prize. Hill kicks to Thompson. Smith against Johnson. Feeds to Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Passes it to Clarkson. Shoots the three. It's good from long range. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Waiters into the lane. Over Hill. Waiters no luck. Well, I like the shot selection. I don't like the shot result. Won't happen much. Nance finds Clarkson. Cleveland moving the ball around. Four on the shot clock. And Hill has it in the corner. Nailed from three-point land. Hill's got nine points now in just the second half. And they're just living beyond the arc here, really, the entire fourth quarter. Yeah, not a bad time to be ripping the nets from distance, piling up some major points here. Whiteside, good. Well, Whiteside beats everybody to the ball, but then maybe the wingspan helps out. Seven foot seven, reach over the top, snatch that. And Nance kicks to Hill. The pass to Clarkson. There's another one for the Cavaliers. Show of confidence right now from Jordan Clarkson and his jump shot. Waiters passes to Johnson. Up top, Trogic. Waiters against Hill. And Waiters kicks to Richardson. Over Smith. Richardson, no luck. And so Clarkson will bring it up for Cleveland. They trail by 14. Now Trogic. Pass to Johnson. Dishes it to Waiters. The kick out to Trogic. In the corner, it's Richardson. Here's Whiteside. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Whiteside's got four points this quarter. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Clarkson finds Nance, and Nance slams it in. So fun to watch Larry Nance Jr. get up and be in flight. And here are the Heat now. They lead by 14. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. And the Heat call time here.
Clippers and our Jordan player of the game, Dwayne Wade. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. And maybe him having a game like this will get things turned around for him because almost nothing has been going their way lately. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Eric Spolster coaching the team during the break. He still wants them to be aggressive and assertive on offense. He said, I don't want us to get content with this lead. Build on it. Don't give them any chance of getting back in this thing. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Cavaliers making a switch here. Deckers checked in. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, it's a bit of a lazy play right there. You're hoping that the guy misses the shot without really doing your job in challenging it. Here's Osman. Here's Clarkson. Makes it off the glass. Clarkson's got seven now in this quarter. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. Wade passes to Autobio. Clarkson against Dragic, and the layup's good off the glass. And the Heat lead by 16. Terrific patience around the paint area from Dragic there. Calmly knocks one down from the interior. Smith in the posts. Richardson cover. Smith dishes to Decker. Here's Nance. Smith kicks to Osman. Second chance shot. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. Channing Fries checked in for Sam Decker. Well, he leading by 13. Pass to Wade. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Here's Osman. Good on the triple. You can blame some poor defense on that play. Just a total breakdown. Got to at least contest at some point. Passes it to Richardson. And Channing Fry gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. Wade left side. Fades back. And there's another one for the Heat. Uh, everything falling for Wade right now. It's got to be in his team's best interest to keep finding him. Here's Clarkson. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got five rebounds tonight. Yeah, and that's been the story of the game. I mean, the rebounding has been very one-sided. Richardson finds Wade. Down low. Here's Autobio. And he takes that one up and powers it through. As soon as Wade looks up and sees his teammate all alone, simple pass, throws it ahead, uncontested jet. Here's Clarkson. And it's off the back rim. No good. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Heat. It's a 14-point game. Good ball movement here by Miami. Richardson kicks to Dragic. And Channing Fry gets the whistle that time. That will be foul number five on him. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Thompson's checked in. A minute 50 left here in the fourth quarter. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul called on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, the defense clearly respecting Dragic's ability to shoot the ball, but they have to be aware of how good he is at drawing fouls on those attempts, too. Shooting two.
And the first one at the line is good. Second free throw, no good. The Cavaliers trail by 15. Osman kicks to Thompson. Clarkson against Dragic. Thompson right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Clarkson and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Goran Dragic. You got to be cautious when you guard Clarkson. He's got a good burst. And when he gets assertive like that, oftentimes will draw a foul. One thing I like about Adam Silver, he is always looking to break new ground, push the envelopes, and develop new areas of innovation. Well, always forward thinking. And, and of course, this league has always done that. Adam has found a, a new position in the league, having a, a chief innovation officer right. in place, somebody that's always examining not only how things are going in the league and maybe being adaptable to change, but examining what's going on worldwide. And you always see the way the league tinkers with and toys with summer league and the way the G League competition sets up in order to try to find more ways to make the game more enjoyable or more accessible to the fan base. And he sinks the second. Boy, he'd sure like to have that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. Clarkson against Dragic. The Cavaliers pull it in. 112 left in the fourth quarter. Clarkson against Dragic. Clarkson passes to Osman, and that one drops for him. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Heat. At every opportunity, they managed to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. I think it paid off, that's for sure. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. Hey, you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for Wade. That's amazing defense from him. Seemed to know exactly when to pounce on the passing lanes and predictive steals. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Smith against Richardson. Kicks to Wade. And he gets it to go. And the Heat lead by 12. And you can tell they're ready to start celebrating a, a well-deserved victory here tonight. Yeah, you can see the fans. They've already started celebrating themselves. A gutty performance. Phenomenal use of the body there to free himself up from the defender and get a clean look at the basket. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Warren. A pretty good performance you put on tonight in front of the fans. Yeah, great view for us, for our fans. They were amazing. Th this kind of games is really enjoying to play. And we are hustling on every play, defense and offense. And, you know, I'm really happy that we won that game. Yeah, I know that's what you thought it would be like when you got here, and it was like that tonight. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports.